What's up ladies? This is Flex with One Channel. Today we're going to learn how to use the EQ2. So first we're going to start off by making a melody of some sort. We're going straight to the full of keys. Get a sound that sounds somewhat decent. Sure, dark piano. Hopefully nothing annoying happens during the process of this. So yeah, we got this starter melody. Now we're gonna EQ the heck out of it. Number one, let's bring it to the mixer by setting it to a channel. So here it is. I mean, it's pretty obvious what it is because it's the only thing playing right now other than the master, but you get my you get my GD rift. Put the convolver on it. That's not a part of the EQing. So the point is to like with melodies kind of want to like get rid of excess like noise so maybe even these two so you can look up here and see like it's really like concentrated in this area but if I bring it up like this it'll come back over there same with this and it kind of just makes for like an overall like strand sound so we might even want to like bring it even closer, like that. And this just opens up more space for other notes. That's all that does. Okay, so if we add like Say uh, we just let's just go straight to the kick. Uh, oh, the heck! The kick sounds kind of. Why is there no snares in this pick? The heck? Sure. So we'll do something just simple for the sake of this video. Sure. All right. So when we're EQ2 EQing these lads, it I mean it already sounds cleaner than it would. It's you know it's it's a very subtle thing. That's like half the reason like a lot of people don't do it at first because it's not like you'd make it and be like oh why does it sound like that so. It's already lined up, huh? Yeah. 
There's some fun stuff you can do with the kick. See how I just like... Maybe bring these down so there's no like... Interference. There you go. That's, that's a good EQ right there. And with the snare... You can like totally change the complexion of the snare. You see how like well balanced it is? It's pretty insane. But we're gonna bring this up because that, I feel like that is a part of the snare. So we have a, do have a little bit of interference there. Let's see what happens when we. We'll, uh, we'll EQ these hi-hats. The point of EQing is basically to get the most out of your sound. Or in, in, into mesh well with the other sounds. That's like EQing in a nutshell. Um, where are these hi-hatties hi at? See that recorded right at all. Not bad. <laughs> Be over here, yep. It's all corresponding with this right here, so. But there's not much overlap over here, but we can still like tune it up a little bit. Also, something to keep in mind is this little thing right here, like just the levels on here. You never want it to be like over this. So this is actually kind of quiet. So I mean, we could like tune in, tune the hi hats up if you want the hi hats to be like super loud. Wait a minute, is this even the hi hat? So this is great harmony with like the overall sound structure of this beat. So uh, that's it for this video guys, that's how you EQ2 and uh, stay tuned for more, you may have a more advanced tutorial but that's the basic outlook, you just kind of want to like utilize it to uh, sort the sounds a little bit better, you don't want it to overlap and 
that's pretty much the key to EQ tuning. So, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe for more. Peace out.